Hey all, this is Ollie from episode 5 of Sleep Talking. Just wanted to come on here and say that my favourite thing about this podcast has been connecting with people all over the world and bonding over our shared love of Sleep Token. And my favourite thing about the band, I've said it before and I'll say it again, it's two. Um, that man has changed my life in, in the best way possible and for that I am so grateful to him. Worship and happy holidays everyone. My favorite thing about the Sleep Talking podcast, I think, would have to be the fact that Dawson and Justin have given other fans and other artists like myself a platform where we can kind of go and share our art, but also our love for the band. Um, And my favorite thing about Sleep Token is, I mean, just their music in general speaks to me in so many different ways. But I think my favorite thing about Sleep Token would have to be the community that it's given me. Um, I've met some amazing people um, just by being a Sleep Token fan. Um, And so I think those are my favorite things. So for me, my my personal favorite thing about the, uh, the band that we all love and know is the Sleep Token, also known as the Sleepy Boys, you know what I mean? Um is the the actual knowing and feeling that you know you're understood by an artist in a way that they may not talk to you they may not say anything to you but you fucking feel the pain you feel the suffering you feel the the emotion that's coming through the song you know and for sleep talking i mean dude it's a great way to have I've met, not met, but, you know, like, through the internet, I've met some of the coolest people that I've gotten to express my feelings with and express the feeling of love and, and love for the for the animal, the beast that is Sleep Token, you know? And, yeah, that's just the way that I feel, man. I love you guys. Thank you very much for making this channel, and thank you for just giving us something to look forward to every week. Thanks. So my favorite thing about Sleep Token is their ability to convey such strong emotion through their music. Um, I mean, Vessel's voice obviously is just incredible, but like you can really feel what he's feeling. Um, Also just through the lyrics, I mean, it's just perfect poetry and um, also, I just love the whole like genre blending, you know, there's like a little bit of, of everything in there, so like there's a little bit for everybody to enjoy. And what I love about the Sleep Talking podcast is just that the um, community of people are just so kind and accepting and non-judgmental and um it's just a really fun group of people to um talk about you know our favorite band but also you know just shoot the shit and talk about whatever we want for the past six years i have watched this band grow and to me sleep token means so much more than i think words could possibly describe but if i had to put it into words it would be inspiring motivating life-saving um just as a creator and an artist that music has always stuck with me and it really has helped me find a voice and realize that my art and my music means probably more to others than i realize and if it wasn't for that band i probably wouldn't be where i am today and this year alone has been one of the best years for the band and if not for the sleep talking podcast justin dawson i love you guys and everybody in the community you guys mean the world to me much love to all of you worship um something that i love about sleep token um is probably the emotional vulnerability in the music and in vessel singing just the raw feeling and emotion that you can just feel and hear through the music i think it is hauntingly beautiful that we are able to connect to the music to not feel so alone 
and I think it's pretty cool that we can all listen to the same song, but we're gonna relate to it and connect to it in different levels and different ways and interpret it in our own way and I think that's pretty rad. Um, for sleep talking. Um, they are the face of the Sleep Token fan community. They have given us a place that is open and safe and judgment free to just hang out as friends and family and just be to be together and just geek out <laughs> over something that we have in common and that we love and from the first episode until now the growth that they've had the growth in their fan base i think is phenomenal and i am extremely proud of dawson and justin and all they have accomplished and all they will continue to accomplish and i cannot wait to see what they have in store in the future to sleep talking Music is the one thing that brings people together with no question to any part of their identity. It just is, and they can just be. Whether in the middle of the pit crushed against each other, or getting completely gutted while driving alone, letting the words pierce your soul. With Sleep Token, you know you aren't alone in what usually seems like a void of passing time. Thank you to the fellow fans for holding a space to Dawson and Justin for shining this light on how it affects us all, even from afar, and especially to Sleep Token for bringing us all together through their music. Only time will tell how much more we will get from our elusive obsession, but it's been a great ride, and damn proud of what you all have done and inspired others to do. Thank you for being a shelter in the storm of life. E. Okay, so what we love most about the podcast, let's just start there. Um, we have two really great guys that run it, Dawson, right, and Justin. Um, they turned something so small, something that was small, into something big, and now they have all of these followers. We get to experience all these new things with y'all um, because of them. Um, and Sleep Token, I've learned so much more about just following the podcast and listening listening to y'all's thoughts and views and why this may happen to this may happen and link and just everything together it's just it's it's wonderful cash what's your favorite song by them mm, what's y'all's the other reason why i love absolutely love sleep talking is Dawson's fucking hair, all right? Like, I mean, look, you know, Justin is the, the poster child for second place, but man has that fucking studly looking fucking Steve Austin look. But Dawson, Jesus Christ. I mean, hey, playgirls call him. They want their boy back. You know what I mean? Let's fucking go.